Good morning. It's day two. Uh, pretty good sleep. Mm. It was quite uh, noisy in the sense of people walking by wondering at night. Other than that, that's good. Everything's good. As I finish off my morning routine, I will take a walk and check out what the vibe is, what's going on. And to my surprise, I run into really interesting things like there's a pool table here. And wow, yesterday I didn't get to see this stage because they were still making it happen. But now that it's open, they have a whole dragon here. Hmm, I'm quite impressed. I'm just sitting here admiring this view. Do you see that guy who's laying in the mud? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot today. In fact, it's so hot, I decided to hide in this hammock. I will get going again once the sun starts I don't setting. know if the camera can capture the sunset here, but the sunset with the whole staging behind the trees, the dust all around, it makes such a surreal setting. Like, wow, it takes my breath away. The colors is so mind-blowing. I feel like I'm on a holiday and I'm on a period. I'm really taking a chill night tonight by myself in these hangouts. If I'm gonna be honest, the past few days I was starting to feel very isolated and lonely, but I realized today that I created this for myself. I chose to be away from all my friends and camp in a place that isn't where they are. And I created such distance within myself as well. Having this thought, I really didn't enjoy the first day. But tonight, being in the flow and letting things go, <laughs> I ended up experiencing so many beautiful moments. In the cinema, for instance, I got to have a conversation about Lord of the Rings, teaching me a total different perspective that I didn't see before. And then I ended up at the volunteer camp waiting for my friend to only be a volunteer and to see the insights of all the volunteers that I was hanging out with. It was such a beautiful night, the night that I needed to come to myself to realize how grateful I am with all these experiences that I am able to experience. So thank you so much universe for putting me in these situations.